just more clear and sweeter. That's the way it is with all the Gibsons, though, that I've ever had. Gibsons have a different, uh, they're just set up, braced differently. Um, I know, in a Martin, and they have a different kind of uh, tone model, or whatever you can call it. Uh, it's more of a uh, throatier sound. Not as, uh, oh, I don't know, it's... Uh, Martins have that kind of a, always a brilliance and mm -hmm. high end. Except. Another thing I'll notice that now, just about guitar, if you play in back here, you get more higher end, but you. Yeah, what I mean, like, like the tone it's, is like different. You get, you, get a, you can get a really cutting. It's nasty sound when you get too far back here. No, but you get up and it sweetens up. This one is so it's it's mellow. mellow, it doesn't it. really do that. Actually, this one sounds good. Good back here. Somewhere around right there, it's just a sweet, yeah. very mellow, almost yeah. angelic sound. Like there that. you go. It's, it's almost that. like like a heart. That's what I was you know, that reverence to it. Yeah, I was just gonna say, uh, this guy that used to be uh, used to deal in a lot of instruments. He's a plays bluegrass, and uh, he used to deal in all kinds of high high level instruments. Yeah. I said, Frank, what do you think? You know the difference between them. The main difference in a Gibson and Martin. How, what do you think about the sound? He said, "Well, the Gibson sounds more like a harp." Mm -hmm. And the, the, I forget what he said about the Martin. Martin is uh, a freight train. <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I can't remember right now. But, uh, but interesting, you should Martin say that because that's what I thought that made a lot of sense because that is exactly what you know, what they. They do sound well. They, uh, they, they, they brought us on with our that kind of smells like you're going down the track, you know, and, and that's what it's made for. Well, the same era Martins, that, those were built to compete with the Martins. Yes. For volume, because yeah. that was pre amplification. So you had to have something, something that, you know, that would uh, send the, uh, the sound out. Was it a Martin or more innovative? I don't know. Don't In a way, much. creating new ideas. Well, that much history about Martin. Well, a long history. The guy that redid that guitar, he has a whole collection of old ass Martin. Yeah. And I was fortunate when I took that guitar up there that I got to look and play. So, mm -hmm. make chords on it. Well, it's pretty 
pretty neat. Because that is around 1970 is when the clock 